All right, sick photo. You know, this is the album cover right here. Started from the bottom, we still here. Started from the bottom, yeah, we still down here. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video. I'm a little exhausted, I'm not going to lie. I streamed a lot of the day today with you guys, just working on the McLaren, working on the Supra, a lot of fun stuff. I might be streaming after this video, so just turn on the notification bell so you know when I start streaming. Anyways, today we're going to take a look at some people who did a lot of work to their cars. It might have been rice, it might have been nice. That's what we're here to find out. We're going to be taking a look at some builds that you guys sent me from Facebook Marketplace, and we're going to see if these goobers are delusional or just, I don't know, batshit fucking crazy. Or, I mean, maybe, maybe, they're, maybe they're fair. Maybe they're fair. But we're going to find out. And in the process, we'll see if their builds at Rice are nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. As always, if you find any cool listings, send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Let's get started. All right, first one, we have a 2007 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe two-door, $12,000. And I feel like the Corvette is missing. How, are, how, 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 how is somebody going to charge $12,000 for less than half a car? You get no doors, no fenders, no hood, no trunk, no windows. Like this isn't this isn't even a fucking car at this point. I mean, I guess you have headlights, but they're just Amazon fog lights. There, there's no headlights there, and you have like trailer tail lights. Like in what in what fucking world is this a twelve thousand dollar car? Who in their right mind is going to spend twelve thousand dollars for a fraction of a car? It is impressive that the Corvette wheelbase is really that small like it's weird to actually look at it like that because the corvette to me is kind of a longer vehicle um at least like a, a longer sports car but it's 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 pretty stumpy like this and it makes maintenance pretty easy i will say that it probably makes maintenance pretty damn easy but twelve thousand dollars now this is the interesting question is it rice i think it's fucking stupid but I, I i wouldn't say it's rice i would just say it's it's just dumb as all hell like, there's one person who can do this, and we know who that is, and it's been done, and it's been done better than this. This is just stupid. This is just some idiot thinking to himself, I bet I could get a lot of attention by just stripping everything off my car. And if he actually, like, sold all of his panels, too, which he might have, then he, like, sold two cars because, you know, a hood, fenders, bumper, the whole, like, fucking rear end... All that is worth money, and if he actually sold it, I mean, shit's better off. He's honestly better off. This is just icing on the cake. But I feel like this isn't going to sell. I mean, for $12,000, you're asking for a wealthy moron to, to buy this car, you know? I mean, $12,000 is not cheap. You can get some good car. You could probably get a Gen 1 Coyote for $12,000. Or, or even just a nice C5 Corvette. Yeah, you could probably get a nice C5 Corvette for $12,000. I bet you, I bet you money. Look at that, 2004, 1998, right around $12,000. They're all about $12,000. So you can get an actual Corvette, you know, a complete one, not this. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's rice. I would just say it's stupid. Um, uh, nothing here really screams race inspired. Oh, he's got a cute little video. Let's see what it sounds like. Sounds like a Corvette. Sounds fine to me. I also feel like having this in Florida probably isn't the wisest idea just based on the fact that it is like nonstop weather changes in Florida. Whatever. 33,000 miles Corvette for trade or for sale. 2,400 pounds, 430 horsepower, street legal, not a rebuild title. 33 original miles, 33,000. I mean, like, when you, when you say 2,400 pounds and 430 horsepower, that sounds like fun, but this just looks like a death trap. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, nope, 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 nope. Moving on. 20, oh, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of, okay, if it's not like a rebuilt title or a salvage title, why would you do this? A 33,000 mile C6 Corvette, why would you do this? It had to have been some sort of accident. It had to have been, whatever. Moving on. 2015 Kia Forte. LX, sedan, four-door, 5,700, 160,000 miles. Jesus Christ, 2015 with 160,000 miles? So for every year, he put on 20,000 miles a year. Jesus, he drove to the moon and back. Well, almost to the moon. 
Anyways, let's take a look at this sick build. All right, he's got one hell of a body kit on this bad boy. Ooh, look at the editing. Wow, so so much better looking. Looks 10 times better. I'm sure that got you a couple extra likes on Instagram. Looks that much better. Wow. He's got a Bentley badge up front, which, I mean, you're not fooling nobody. This this clearly ain't no Bentley. Oh, his homeboy's right next to him with the, the riddled up Camry. It's got bullet holes all over. We got blood dripping out of the headlights. Spooky. Anyways, he's got universal flares, he's got a shitty front lip, some shitty struts, the worst fucking vinyl, like, decals ever. Like, when I think race car, I definitely don't think Kia, and I definitely don't think Kia Forte. Whoa, dude, this guy, he's got the, he's got the performance tire lettering, oh my god, dude. I feel like this guy has to be, like, like you know, playing into it. He's kind of leaning into it a bit. I mean, the Bentley badge is kind of a giveaway, but... He's got the performance tire lettering. At that point, though, this is an expensive hobby to just troll. Like, you, you went out of your way to get the wide body flares. You got the livery. You got all the little stickers. But then, like, for what? Like, you, you genuinely have to drive around the, the Kia Forte with the double-decker Amazon wing. Like, who's really the, the troll? Like, is it really a troll? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm seeing Spanish. It might not be a troll. Let's read it. I am selling this beautiful Kia without any problems. Everything out 100 Drive super well. For work is good friend. His amp and manual horn coil. What? You can raise it if you don't like how low it is. Oh my god. Okay. It's, he's serious. He is serious. He thinks that this is some hot shit right here. He's right. It is some steaming hot shit. Just a steaming pile of post Taco Bell diarrhea in a Baja Blast cup. Because you had nothing to use when you pulled over. At that point, I would have just let it go straight up on the concrete. I would have just let it just roll on out. I might not have even pulled over. I might have just cracked my door open and just, you know, did a little fucking chemtrail out the door. little crop dusting action. Anyways, yeah. Um, how much does he want? 5,700? 160,000 miles? Seems a bit steep for me. Just seems a little bit on the steeper end. Um, at least you're getting the performance tires. Well, that's that's pretty good to know. I mean, at least, at least he got them performance tires. Those things alone are probably $500 a pop, so probably probably worth it. Probably worth it. Yeah, this one is certified rice. I think this one is a perfect example of what rice looks like. Like, this is as race-inspired as it could be. He's got the sponsors. He's got the fake vents. He's got the performance tires. He's got the, the shitty arrow. He's got the shitty wing. This is the perfect definition, textbook definition of rice. Perfect. Love it. All right, moving on. Next car, 1999 Mitsubishi Eclipse, $7,500. So this guy wanted 57. This guy flipped the numbers a little bit, wants 75 for a 99 Eclipse. And this first photo, I mean, paint looks good. I mean, we are, I am looking at, you know, something about as small as an iPod Nano, but the paint looks good. Another, another editing guru. Look at that. Look at that. 10 out of 10, best editor out there. Yeah, um, the paint looks good. The body kit, although, like, kind of out there it's it's weirdly similar to the mclaren body kit the only thing it's missing is just the little beams going across but it's very similar to the 12c where the bumper goes up like that i know obviously like they didn't model this after it I mean, the 12c wasn't even around maybe the 12c modeled it after this guy's car probably mclaren saw this car and was like you know what that's what we're going for anyways the body kit though um i'm praising it I'm giving it a thumbs up. The the front end looks very very early 2000s. I mean, everything he did to it is is kind of period correct, and it's cool to kind of see it as a survivor. The rear end, the rear end is where I start to have issues. This is just a bit too much pimp my ride for my liking. I mean, it it's it's great if you're on the show, but in the real world, this is a bit too much. You got quad fart cans. You got the double barrels, the double double barrels sticking out. That's, uh, that's as many barrels as cylinders. That's just a bit too much. And I also was never really a huge fan on any car of these, like, light covers. Like, I guess, yeah, it's like a cheaper way to change the look of your taillights. But, like, I was never a fan of those. I, even, I see them on cars today. And still not a fan. But, I mean, honestly, I can't even hate it too much because it's a very clean example of a 99 Eclipse. Like, a very clean example. The interior too, although you took the rattle can to the inside, I would say for what it is, it's tastefully done. The whole thing isn't fucking orange. He doesn't have TVs in the headrest. He's got buckets. He's got a little bit of paint matching here and there. He's got an auto, so I mean, I, I guess. But it's honestly like 
I I don't think I'd call it. Um, it's so. Oh my god, this is a hard one. Because I know if I saw this on the road, depending on who I saw driving it, I would say it's rice. But like, it's so period correct that it just looks like it came out of a time capsule. Like this is something you would see in the early two thousands tuner magazines. Like this is this is ah oh, this is. Mm. I want to read the translation. Uh, really clean inside and out, well equipped, no rust. A lot of money invested in the last year's invoice to support. Nothing to do on the mechanic side. Legendary vehicle that draws attention and turns heads. Price is negotiable. I, I think it's pretty fair. I honestly think it's pretty fair. I weirdly like how just like early 2000s this is. This just reminds me of just like sucking on my thumb because in the early 2000s, I mean, I was a toddler, but um, not really a toddler. I was born in 97, if you guys were wondering. So, I mean, I was playing with Hot Wheels at the time, but I wasn't like, oh shit, does that fucking DSM have a fucking upgraded turbo? I didn't know what any of that was. But I guarantee if I saw this thing on the road, I would have been like, whoa, whoa. I would have been so into it. I like it. I'm going to say it's nice. I think it's cool. Little tweaks here and there would make it better, but I think it's cool. It's so period correct. I just, oh, it's cool to me. Anyways, next car, 2008 Honda Civic DX sedan four-door. $9,000 for this fucking piece of shit. What are people, what are people doing? Like, what are people doing? Hmm? Like, who wakes up in the morning and says, you know what? I need my wheels to stick out four to six inches past my fenders. And uh, what's with these fucking editing photos? Is this something that like Facebook does automatically where they like auto correct it? Because every fucking car we've seen today has done this so far. Maybe it's a, a, an update. I don't know. Anyway, it's um, yeah, it, dude. Oh my God. This is one of those cases where it's like he's built it somewhat, but I still just see it, no offense, a steaming pile of shit. All right, let's take a look. Let's, let's, oh no, it's got music. Okay, we can't we can't listen to that. If he just did like a little flyby, and we got to hear the turbo, like sure, but he's not even really doing a flyby. Is that the flyby? Oh my God, where'd you get these wheels? What pickup truck did you steal these goddamn wheels off of? Uncle Jerry's gonna be very mad that you stole his goddamn wheels. We have a fender exit. We have hood vents that he cut into it. The wheels are just ridiculous. Yeah, this is this is a bit much, and it's not like, you know, it was wide body at one point because he would have showed that. Anyways, um, he only has a couple of photos, but uh, let's read his description. I guess I'll let the video play while we're reading it. But it's a fully built R18, boosted on 10 psi, two 10 inch subs, quick release steering wheel, six puck race clutch, blacked out interior, so just normal interior, blacked out. Oh my bad, custom headlights. The list goes on. Cons: hood vent broke. Oh no, not the shitty hood vent from Amazon. Small oil leak, probably gonna need a wheel bearing under warranty. This, you wanna know why it needs a fucking wheel bearing, you buffoon? Is because you have the wrong fucking wheels on it. Look at those. That's why it needs a fucking wheel bearing. That's why. It probably needs four wheel bearings. Probably might need some axles too. Like, are people just like oblivious? to what happens when you don't run the right stuff if you run spacers if you run big oversized wheels it is going to tire out your whole drivetrain not a great idea especially when the end result looks like this like it was a bad idea from the get-go but whatever how much does he want for it? nine thousand no this dude's fucking tripping nine thousand dollars you're fucking trip you listed like three problems it has and you still think that this pile of fucking rust is worth 9000 Whatever you're smoking, I need it. That is some good shit. Next car, 2013 Hyundai Genesis Coupe, $8,000. Perfect example. $8,000 and you could buy this. I mean, it's got more mileage, but I bet it has less issues. Probably doesn't need a fucking wheel bearing. Um, and it looks a little better. Okay, yeah, it's got to be a feature because it does it in every photo now. Whatever. Um, big ass wing. Stock ass wheels. Aftermarket diffuser fucking buffoons man i just oh my god who in their right mind thinks that putting a gigantic wing on relatively a stock car is a good idea like you did nothing but dress this thing up like a goddamn barbie doll like that's all you did you just played dress up with your car i'm gonna dress it up to make it look like a race car so that way people think i'm fucking fast like good job like come on can we have some common sense here this is no difference than just you know, putting eyelashes on your car. It's a big NRG wing, and he has a shitty ABS plastic diffuser. Like, 
Oh, yeah, this is rice. This one's rice. Um, I didn't even say what this thing is. I don't, I just say this is ass. I'm not even gonna say it's rice or nice. It's just ass. It's in between. This, um, this is just straight up rice. This is a perfect example of rice. Making it look fast. You did nothing. I mean, what, maybe an intake tube? Ooh, this guy's crazy. I feel like you can kind of dress up uh, this motor to make it look like a 2J because it, it, it has a similar silhouette and profile, but it's definitely not. Um, 2.0, 2013 R-Spec. Everyone speaks a different fucking language today. Um, translated from French. I took French in high school. Let me see if I can knock this out. Salut! Je va, je va mon hondes yenis, uh, I forgot. C'est un char, c'est un char. I don't, okay. I really, maybe, I must have not been paying attention for those three years. Art, tighter R spec, suspension, LSD, different clutch, stage two, cold air intake, blow off valve, catalyst down pipe. Okay, so it's got a little bit more going on than I thought. It's got a little bit more going on than I thought. Does that still excuse that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It still doesn't. Zero percent chance of excusing that. I'd still say it's rice. I'm sorry. I mean, you got you got some stuff going on, but you don't have enough going on to need the fucking uh, park bench bolted to your your rear. The bus stop. You don't need that much on the back. You don't need the whole bus stop. So, anyways, last car, 2013 Nissan Altima, 2.5 liter sedan. Seven thousand dollars. How many miles? Hundred, hundred and seventy-two. Hundred and seventy-two thousand miles on the Altima, and you're thinking you're getting seven? You're, you're getting three. You're getting three. All right, sick photo. You know this is the album cover right here. Started from the bottom, we still here. Started from the bottom, yeah, we still down here. This is this is some behind the scenes action right here. Poor Rav Four. Oh god, that Rav Four parked in the shot. Boo hoo! Ooh, this guy's in the no parking zone. This is a bad boy. This is a, this is a criminal. This is somebody that needs to be reprehended ASAP. Call the police. Oh, more shots of him. Probably not a good idea to post your crimes on the internet, Bucko. That's how you get arrested. Anyways, Fitman is ass. Um, I know like you're trying to show off the Fitman, but the Fitman here is ass. Like, this this is bad Fitman. It's tucked, cool, but you know it's not even at the fender. So, just look, it, like bad Fitman. What do you what do you want me to do? This front end just looks like a shoe. I don't know how to explain it, but it just looks like a shoe. Kind of like a Converse or something. It's just, it, it ain't looking too good. My camera died. Are you trying to make it look like a Lexus? Is that what you're trying to do? Because it, it kind of looks like you're trying to make it look like a Lexus. But it, it, it's not, it's not Lexusing, you know, for me. Still looks like an Ultima. I think this is the best looking shot of the car because I'm so far away I can't really look at it. Oh, and then there's this. Imagine parking next to this guy at the car meet. Oh my god, man. Ugh. Oh, he's looking for trades. He's not even looking for cars. Oh, never mind. He'll take 7,000. It's a 2013. Runs and drives fine. Great commuter. 29, 28 MPG. Brand new CVT transmission. Less than 15,000. Done by Nissan. 5% tint with sun strip. Brand new rear pads, rotors, and calipers. Why and calipers? That's a bad sign. Brand new front brake pads. Lowered on coilovers. Tires at 80%. Dude, these tires are smoked. You already fucking know. You already know that these tires are all unevenly worn. They're smoked. Headliner needs some work. Uh, tried doing Starlight and the glue didn't stick. Awkward. Yeah, that's, you know, when they quoted you a couple hundred bucks, you probably should have just paid them because, you know, your headliner wouldn't be trash now, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... This isn't really race-inspired, in my opinion. Again, it's just another definition of ass. Um, yeah, it's not race-inspired, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's nice either. It's, de it's definitely not nice. I think we can all agree this definitely isn't nice. I don't know, maybe someone thinks it's nice. But it's been up for sale for almost six months, so uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not nice. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you for today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please let me know down below. Hit the notification bell so you guys can come to the streams and flock to the videos with everyone else. If you see any listings like this, send it to my Gmail. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited for the super build. Um, if you didn't see, like I said, we got the motor back. Having a whole lot of fun putting it back together. Can't wait to see what it puts down on the dyno. It's going to be super fun. Anyways, subscribe if you want to see that. And until next video, peace.